Hi, I'm on location with Cookie A, who's a prolific sock designer, and she's writing a book about socks and how to make them. Hi, Cookie. Hi, Kim. It's great to have you here. Thanks for having me. You have so many different types of techniques that you use in your socks. Um, and today we're specifically going to be looking at some examples that you've made out of hand-painted yarns. Yes, hand-painted yarns are really fun to use because the colors change. And so it's kind of like you're using color and texture together and yes. barrel of surprises. Combining them can be really interesting. Oh, excellent. So here's an example um, of a sock made with hand-painted yarns. Um, That's my monkey sock. It's the monkey sock. Mm -hmm. It's wildly popular. Over 5,000 knitters have knitted, supposedly. Awesome. That's really great. And it was originally published online. Yes. Um, and today we're going to talk about both a couple of things about how to make the sock and also how to change the sizing of it. Yes. So, so one of the biggest questions I get about this pattern and other patterns is um, how to resize. Like, what if my foot is bigger? What if my foot is smaller? Because it was originally published just in the one size. Right. Okay. In the one size. Um, so in this sock, it's a 64 stitch um, sock. It has four repeats of a V type pattern. Okay. And the easiest way to make it bigger is to knit it with bigger needles and a thicker yarn, which is what I did here. Okay. But sometimes, you know, thicker yarn isn't very comfortable. I have very wide feet, so it's hard to fit thick yarn in my shoes. Right. So what I do, if I wanted to have a bigger sock, what I might do is use a thinner yarn that's, you know, very nice and will wear well mm -hmm. and knit it at a much tighter gauge, but then change, modify the actual stitch pattern so that each repeat is wider. So that you're actually using more stitches. Right. Oh, excellent. And you had also mentioned that the yarn, using a thinner yarn would wear really well. What is it about the yarn that? So this yarn is a really nice um, thin yarn that uses, it has nylon content. Okay. And part of what makes it wear really well is when you knit it really densely, or you know, if you knit at 10 stitches per inch or 11 stitches per inch, mm -hmm it'll be really dense and it'll wear better. Okay, and it just but it'll elongates the, the life of your sock. Yes. And so, as well, we should all remember that we don't have to use wildly colored yarns. You can also use a, a solid yarn um, where you get to really play with stitch patterns and have them pop. Um, or there's a wide variety of different colors of yarns that you can use. Yep. Excellent. Cookie, thank you so much. And for our viewers, the pattern for the enlarged monkey sock will be on the website. We'll be right back. Knitting daily. Make time for yarn every day. The projects and patterns from today's show, plus more ideas and projects, can be found on the web at knittingdailytv.com. This is show 212. Continue knitting daily every day by joining the online Knitting Daily community and receive a free newsletter five times a week filled with step-by-step -step techniques, inspiring reader-contributed stories, and free patterns. It's about knitting all the time. KnittingDaily.com Knitting Daily has been sponsored in part by Interweave, inspiring, encouraging, and supporting creative self-expression through art and craft media. Interweave.com